Okay, here's what we did. This over here is an alcohol dis distillation column, and it is on nothing more than a simple 15 gallon beer keg, which my employees thankfully emptied. Underneath of this is a um, turkey, let's see, a turkey frying oil burner, the type of thing you cook your turkey in around Thanksgiving full of oil. Got this at the uh, hardware uh, sporting goods store. We fired this example off of propane, but you could have easily fired yours off of wood or any other heat source. The barrel over here was for nothing more than cooling water. We just had cooling water in here circulating through the lines and then going back in there. It did not require much cooling. Had a temperature gauge up here. A fancy one, but you could use a simple one to let me know the temperature of the top of the column. And all this information was obtained in David Bloom's book, Alcohol Can Be a Gas, which, which knowledgepublications.com sells, well, we're actually the largest distributor of this book in the world. Okay, what we did is we took, first we took, for the experiment, we took 250 grams of straight gasoline. This is pure gasoline from the pump. And then to that amount of gasoline, we mixed in an equal amount of the alcohol that we had distilled. As you can see up here, it's not full, it's not fully mixed, but it is about to be. When you swirl it around like this, it becomes very homogenous. That is a 50-50 mixture by weight, not by volume, of alcohol and gasoline. Now the alcohol is only 92% alcohol, the rest is water, which is okay for most vehicles and engines and stuff. It does not have to be anhydrous. And then we took this, okay, and then, this is just a standard little three to five hundred dollar mini bike runs on gasoline and we are going to pour this mixture that we just showed you into the fuel tank of the bike. Put the filter and the cap on, put the choke in the right position, fuel on, switch on. It works! 